So next one is a third table. Next one is a third table. So a third table also you can use skip count by three method because it's not going to be very difficult. It's not going to be very difficult, isn't it? So because when, when telling about a two, skipping a three is not going to be very difficult. It will be very easier. If you use skip count by three method also, it will be very easier. So in the second method also, I have told you about the grid method, isn't it? This is a second method. It is a grid method. So only the two methods like a grid method or a skip counting method. Only these two methods is there to learn the tables means of course it's no. It's not at all. No. Because there are different countries where different peoples are there. Different in, in different countries they are using a different technologies like a Chinese technology. The Chinese were using the abacus to learn the uh, such a tables very easily. They are using the beads and Japan is used and Russian that is a Russians are using different kind of the method this is a, like an a Indian method okay so if you this is more than enough for uh, the small tables like a two three it's, a, it's a more than enough okay it's a more than enough actually so in a grid method we have a scene isn't it we just drawn the one uh, uh, big square and we have uh, two sleeping line and two slanting line isn't it so and we started putting a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After putting the backward counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and we are going to fill it the first with 0 and second with 1 and third with 2. So this is 3 into 1, 3, 3 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 4, 3 into 5, 3 into 6, 3 into 7, 3 into 8, 3 into 9 and 3 into 10, 30. Of course, we everybody know 3 into 10 is 30. So, this is the very easiest method, grid method. So, what is the main disadvantage uh, by learning the tables uh, using the such a kind of uh, techno techs like um, grid method, skip counting method means we are used to do or uh, we will get practiced towards the grid method. For example, if I am asking what is a 3 in 7 into 3 means, you have to be very clear about uh, sudden uh, at a point you have to tell 21. So instead of that, you again are putting a drawing like a grid and putting the number and afterwards you are telling me there is a no use. So you should be, be very memorized about the ordering of number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9. The first one is 0 and second one is 1 and the third one is 2. So now we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 21. You should be very clear on that point. So that is a major desert. I think that is will be going to be a disadvantage for the kids to memorize about it. So this is a one simple technique to read the third tables. Okay, next one is a fourth table. Okay, I think uh, you will be very clear about how you are going to read the two tables and three tables. Next, we are going to see about the fourth table. So as like I said, the skip counting method will be uh, useful up to 5 and 10. Up to 5 and 10, it will be very useful. But you feel very difficult. Okay, we having another uh, alternative method also to read the fourth table. So how we read the fourth table with the help of the star method, isn't it? With the help of the star method. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So See here, 1 into 4 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, uh, 3 into 4 is uh, 12 and uh, 4 into 4 is 16, 5 into 4 is 5 into 4 is a 20, 20, uh, next, uh, 6 into 4 is a 24. See here, Z we have to be very clear in the arrow mark. So, listen, I will draw you such... It will be very smaller, I think. I will draw a little bit larger. See here, this is a star. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, isn't it? So one uh, one into four is four, isn't it? One into four is four. So again, again going to this word. The other arrow is going to this way, isn't it? So two into four is eight. Two into four is eight. Next, three into four is twelve. Next, twelve to here. Next, four into four is sixteen. Next, here. Next, five into four is twenty. Next, again, you are coming six into four is twenty-four. Again, you are going upward. Seven into four is twenty-eight. Again, eight into four. Again, nine into four, thirty-six. Ten into four, forty. See here, the at every point there are a two sets we are covering. At every point they are meeting the two sets. Every point they are meeting the two steps. So this is a very simple and easiest method to learn the four table with the help of this chart. Okay.